Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohammad Asadullah and I am a software developer based in Pakistan. In this video, I will teach you how can you host your ASP.NET application and Microsoft SQL Server database on cloud platform which is known as Monster ASP.NET for free. So let me guide you to on my PC. So first of all, we will go to Monster ASP.NET website and it look like this it is their landing page and first we need to create the account so we'll click on try it for free and enter you will enter your email address to create your account i have already created my account so i will just log in so you will log in directly to control panel so this is like the control panel interface for the monster asp there, there is option for website and database and if we, if you have email services then emails email section will be populated so as i have already created a website and a database so these are listed below so but we need to create a new website for the sake of this tutorial so first we will create database so to create database we will create, click on create database and then when we will select the free version and I, I will select the SQL Server 2022. Then we will leave the collation as it is. The collation is basically the set of rules for the uh, given SQL Server. Uh, like it defines the case sensitivity and and SN sensitivity. AS stand for SN sensitivity, sensitivity and CI stand for case insensitivity. Means this database will be, will be case insensitive and uh, lowercase and uppercase characters will be considered same like this is the normal for the sql server database so we will select sql server database and we will leave other settings as it is and then we will click on continue and as we are on the free version then we cannot select uh, the usa based data centers and we are only limited to europe based data centers so i will select uh, EU data centers and I will create database. Our database is now being created and it will be created in few seconds. Now our database is, is created. Now we will go to settings and uh, first we will enable the remote access for our database server. We will, we will use this remote uh, access settings for to access our database using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and we will just quickly fire up the, the sql server management studio then we will then we will copy the server server url from this and paste here we will remove the white space and we will select sql server authentication if any other option is selected we will change it back to SQL Server Authentication then for login we will provide the login from this website and for database password we will click on show password and we will copy the password and we will then hide that again then we will connect we can check the trust server certificate now that our remote database is connected to SQL Server Management Studio, now we need to import our our database from our local server to the remote server. If you are watching this video, then I am assuming that uh, you have a working ASP.NET application and a working SQL Server database on your local system. So let's let me connect my local database. Uh, local host. This one doesn't require any authentication. Then I will go to databases and QMS. This is our database QMS that we need to import to our remote server. So for this, we will click right click on that and we will I mean we'll go to task and generate scripts. Before generating a script, we will need, we will need to set some options. We will go to we will go to set scripting options and we will go to advanced and we will set the script use database option as false and types of data to script from schema only to schema and data because i want 
the schema of my database as well as the data present in it to be available on my remote database then we will go to choose objects and we will keep the script entire database and all database objects option checked then we will go to next and we will we will for the sake of simplicity i am i am opening in the editor window you can create the file or save it as well for the later use now that our one time qe is ready with the schema and the data we need to do some few changes like we need to remove the create database and alter database statement because our database is already created so we don't so we will not create the database again and we will not uh, run any alter statement because uh, uh, this uh, connection has not access to the alteration of database and we can we, we don't have permission to alter the database itself from this remote connection so we will remove all the alter statement until this now we have uh, only uh, we, we have remaining are the database schema uh, qes and the data insertion qes so we will copy this control c and we will go to remote server and we will select our database and we will we will select new qe and we will paste our script and execute this qe it will take some time because uh, our data our database has some data in it so it will take some time to execute these queries so all our queries are executed and now we will see the tables to verify that our tables are being created yes our our tables are successfully created in this remote database now that our database has been created we will again go to control panel and we will disable this remote connection because it is only used for remote access via Visual Studio or SQL Server Management Studio. Now we will create our website. We will host our ASP.NET application itself to this platform. So for this, we will go to websites and we will click add website button. And again, we will select the free option and you will name our website like uh, 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 for this for this tutorial i am uploading a, a, web, a web application that is uh, used for creating quotation and it is basically named as quotation manager so i will name it as quotation quotation manager 101 it this name should be unique and if it is not unique then uh, it will it will not let us continue and we need to use some unique name so this is our name quotation manager 101 dot run asv.net this is our complete url for the our website then we will click continue and again we cannot select the usa data center we will select eu data center and we will create website it will take a few seconds to create our website now that our website is created we will again click on manage and we will click on ftp web deploy and we will download the published profile from there first we need to enable the web deploy access this access enable us to directly deploy our website from visual studio to this platform so we will download publish profile and now we will open visual studio this is my sample application quotation manager which will i which i will publish to the monster asp so we will first we will go to appsetting.json and this is my local host connection string i will i will replace it with the database connection string that i just created so i will go to control panel uh, i will go back to the databases and i will go to my database that i just created and i will use the server name mentioned below copy it and paste it here and for the user id i will user id plus two
this and password equals to click, click on show password this configuration is for is for using in our main application and uh, it is kind of faster than disconnection disconnection configuration so it is used in our website and this is used for uh, accessing microsoft visual studio and microsoft sql server main studio so i have copied the password and i will paste the password here and i will also make the trust server certificate plus two and now I, I will also change our database name to our database name which is the same as the login name so this is our database name so now our connection string is configured then we will go to build publish quotation manager and i will add a new publish profile by importing the publish profile settings that i just downloaded i have downloaded in downloads folder i have, i will open it and click finish now my publish profile is created directly from the publish profile settings file and now i will click publish and it will take a time few seconds and it may take longer for the first time so wait a while as you can see that our application is now successfully hosted on quotation manager 101.runasv.net which is the remote url for the our application now and you can see the landing page of our application is being successfully shown so in this way you can host your asp.net application and your sql server database for free and the packages of this platform are also very feasible and like if we go to if i open this in in cognito tape you can see you can see their plans like uh, the, their premium single plan is two, less than two dollar and their the flagship plan is less than seven dollar this is not a paid promotion of this website but uh, i am letting you know that if you if your uh, application exceed the minimum uh, the free tire so, so you can buy the premium version of it and you can successfully keep your application running on this platform so that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video thank